back to our DIY show. I'm very excited because the audience has actually already started what we're doing next. Our DIYer is part of our City Line family, okay? One of our producers, April Kalu, not only helps create content on this show, she continues to create when she gets home. She is a crochet and knit designer to over 100,000 followers. Yes! And today we were lucky enough to book her. We're like, do you have room in your schedule for City Line? I was busy, but you she know. was busy, but she made it work. So she's going to teach us all, and she's already started teaching you um, how to hand knit in just a few steps. So I was nervous coming into this. You've showed me a few things, and you're going to show me again. Yep. And everyone at home, everyone's got the yarn. They've all got started. Do we need any knitting experience? You need absolutely zero knitting experience to do hand knitting. Okay. okay. So I know that we have some knitters in the audience. I'm obsessed with that. Clearly. I'm so excited that there are some. But yeah, absolutely zero knitting experience. Okay. I do want to say that I have learned to crochet, knit, uh, macrame, punch needle, cross stitch, embroider. Wow. So all those things I'm self-taught. Absolutely self-taught. I watch videos online and I'm just wow. obsessed with adding things, more things to do. Yes. Like I don't have enough things She's to do. She's got two kids, a job, <laughs> a side hustle. Yeah. So was this during the pandemic? Yeah, no, this Before. was nine years ago, but okay. like I learned basic crochet stitches from my grandma when I was about 10 years old. That's beautiful. I was very distracted with nukas on the block, so I did not <laughs> continue that at all. And um, so, yeah, so my first mat leave uh, 10 years ago, I picked up yarn, a hook, and I just haven't looked back, and she's my inspiration oh, and motivation beautiful. to continue this maker journey for sure. Oh, my Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let's. Why, why don't yeah. we start? So. Yeah, I want to start. So first, I just want to say that everyone in the audience has yarn. They're going to be doing this demo along with us. Yes. This yarn is Yarn Inspirations Bernat blanket extra thick jumbo yarn. I yeah. picked this yarn for a reason because it's so jumbo. So good. When you are thinking of hand knitting, you definitely feel like you need that nice chunky jumbo yarn. You want to be able to move it around. So yeah. this is really like. If you could feel this right now and squish this, it's so, like feels squish, so it, good. Just squish it. It's like a cloud. It's like a cloud. It's, it's like a cloud. So we're gonna start our first step. So I did show the audience, and some of them already know how to do it. Okay. Yeah. But I showed them, and it's a slip knot. Okay. Okay. So we are gonna do a slip knot. We are going to put. So I'm gonna use these two terms a lot. The end of the yarn is called the tail. Okay. And the yarn that's attached to the ball is called the working yarn. Got okay. It. So tail and working yarn. Okay. So we are going to put the tail close to our pinky. Yeah. Make sure you keep your fingers straight. This is. In your left hand. Uh -huh. Your thumb is going to hold the yarn right where your pointer finger is. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the working yarn with our right hand. We're going to bring it once around to meet at our pointer finger there. Yeah. And we're going to hold it there. Uh -huh. Now we're going to take our right hand and use our pointer and our thumb as like a claw. Okay. We're going to go behind our hand here. Yeah. And you're going to grab the working yarn from there. You got it, Tracy. You're doing it perfectly. Okay. And then you're going to hold the working yarn and the tail, and you're just going to pull. And that oh, is a slip knot. Yeah, Look baby. at how perfect you just did that. Okay. It was. It really helps to see your hands <laughs> doing it. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we good. are 30 percent done. You're almost knitting. Seriously. Okay. Right, Seriously. What's next? Okay. So now we are doing chains. So chains is the um, represents the width of your project. Okay. Okay. So like here, I have an example. I have a blanket. I made that in like That's an hour. Beautiful. Once you know the technique, it's like, boom, you can do it. Yeah. But um, chains is what we're doing next, and that represents the width of your project. Yeah. So how many chains did I do for this? Probably about like 20 chains. How many chains did I do for that? Probably about like 10 or 11. Um, but that's a pillow. Yeah. Okay. So you can go online and find this very easily. Like yes. I said, I'm self-taught. You can find everything online. Okay. okay. So chains. So we have our loop here. Yeah. Tracy, we want to put our, our yarn next to it like this. Should I be going this way? Yeah. You okay. just want to go like this. Just so that your yarn is underneath it. Okay. Like this. Yeah. And we're just going to be taking our pointer and our thumb again, like our claw, and pulling the yarn through to make a loop. Okay. Do you see that? We're yeah. just pulling the yarn through. Oh, you keep to make going. A and that's just chains. Yeah, and make like oh, four or five. I, so you're just I'm knitting without amazing. even knitting needles. This you're is what's knitting called without a hand anything. Knit. It's called hand knit. So that's you can it. do blankets. You can do pillows. You can do. Can yeah, you can do um, anything. When you think of hand knitting, you should think of squares and rectangles. Anything that's a square and a rectangle, oh, you can make. So pillow, okay. blanket. Um, bath mat, area rug. I made yes. a full cardigan where I did like a rectangle, 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 rectangle. Oh, that's and then so I good. did a square for the back piece. I seamed it together and it was a hand knit cardigan. That is incredible. Yeah. So when you get to the end of your chain. Okay, you made a really long chain. I know, sorry. And you, went and you really <laughs> loved to do that. that I really was okay. loved it. Okay, so once you have the end of your chain, you're going to have this, this one chain. You want to um, 
have it go upwards like a little bunny ear. Okay. Okay, do you see that? Yeah. Like a bunny ear. Yeah. Now we're going to take our working yarn. Okay. We're going to bring it parallel to where we're working and just above it, just so that it's easier for us to grab, Tracy. Yep. And then you're going to go in that chain that you made right there with your pointer and your thumb. Yeah. And you're going to grab the working yarn and just pull up another bunny ear, like okay. another loop right there. So it's a bunny! That's it. And just okay. you can keep doing that. Just go in the, in the, in the next loop and pull up another loop. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And they're all just like little bunny ears. Do you okay. see that? That is very cool. So apes. the only trick that I would say to this, and when you're a beginner, it's a little harder, try to keep them all the same size. Yeah. And make them a little loose. Don't 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 okay. give too much tension to make it tight because yes. it'll be harder for you to, to now do the, to next, do the chain. next loop. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. the next loop. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, very cool. So I know you did all this already. Let's yeah. pretend your swatch was that 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 Small. Yeah. And then the next row is exactly the same. Got exactly it. the same. You just have your working yarn above So it. you keep going. And I love to see how into it you all are yeah. in the audience. Because it's a beautiful thing to be able to like work with your hands and be invested. And so if none of you clap for me, I won't be upset. Because they're <laughs> in their knitting projects now. Now guess what? April has not only taught us how to do this. She has handpicked four easy patterns you can make at home. Find them at cityline.tv, and that's not all. Thanks to Yarnspirations, two lucky audience members are going home with enough yarn to make a full blanket, Yay! valued at over $100. Thank you, Apes! Yay! Really good, and we're so proud of you. Let's go to break. We so got much more fun. Up. I'm so Stay proud with of you. Us.